Welcome, welcome, welcome. Sorry about that. A little, little incident there. Uh, sorry about that. Let's get into today's show. It's good to be back. Eric Bazinian, um, and I'm going to butcher this name, Shaquille Finn, I, I think is, is how you say that. Um, got to watch some tape on Finn. We're going to get into it. Please like, share, and su- but before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. I'll show you how to bring down the house and consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Please join the Patreon. The link is in the description. Just $5 a month. Just $5 a month gets you the lock of the week, which we're always making money on. Um, it gets you ask the bookie anything, ask me a handicap fight. I'll make a video for you. Also, you get a free t-shirt. There's a ton of perks in that. All right, guys, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Um, also, our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. I'm going to try to go through this. I'm, I'm not feeling well today, so I'm going to try to uh, get through today's show. Eric Bazinian uh, is Canadian prospect. He fights on a lot of these uh, Eye of the Tiger cards you can see on ESPN. Uh, he's 28 years old. He's starting to hit his prime. He's hit this peak. Um, 32 and 0, 23 knockouts. Strong as hell. Comes forward. He wants to come forward. He's got. He'll try going backwards. It does not work for him. Counters well. He can roll with shots a little bit. Strong shotgun jab. He keeps his jab. You know, pumps it out there. And. You know, he sets it up well. He, he frames his shots well. It's a little bit slow. And he'll get have it where, you know, his feet are slow. His hands are a little slow at, at a high level. And he kind of just covers up and waits for you to finish punching. That's not a good thing to do with Shaquille Finn. Um, he stays behind a high tight guard. He's, and, you know, he stays on the ropes and spots for too long. But he keeps his hands on the phone. He doesn't take a ton of big shots. There's, there's pros and cons to this guy. He's a decent-looking prospect. He's, he's straight in and out. His head's on a line. He's, he's not difficult to hit. There's no lateral movement. He's skilled on the inside. He can land good, clean shots. He's got a, a wide repertoire of shots on the inside. He's got good power in both hands, specifically the right hand. Nice one-twos, and he can get the rhythm, right? Like, he, when he's you know standing in the mid in the mid range, he can get – into a, a rhythm of one twos, one twos, and, and kind of put him on you, but he's slow. You know, he's slow fisted and he's slow f- feet. He, he's a, he's a slow guy. He's big and strong. He's got a little bit of skills. He's got some offensive talent. Uh, should not be fighting off the back foot. Like I said, he needs to be comfortable. If you can get him on the back foot, you can have his way with him, and he gets hit a lot. Uh, but he's got a good gas tank and, and he's got pretty good endurance. All right, so you kind of get a picture of what he is. He's a, he's a decent offensive fighter who's big and strong with decent power, who's got some skills, but he's a little bit unathletic. You know, like I say, slow white guy problems. <laughs> Shaquille Finn is not a terrible fighter, but he's not a very good fighter either. Uh, I don't think he operates at this level. I don't think he's at the level of Shaquille Finn. I see a lot of problems with him, a lot of problems with him. You know, he's a basic comfort guy. He's not super athlete. He's not super fast, n- nothing like that. He's slow as well. He throws a lot of one punch at a time because he time shots really well, though. He's got good timing, but he's just not on a, on a, on a super high level. He's, he's, he's an opponent-level guy, not a high-volume guy. There's nothing he does really well. He, he You know, like I said, his timing is his, his best feature. He's got decent pop. It looks like he, he you know, he, he scores clean shots. And it looks like they have some effect. And he punches in between your punches, right? So there's not nothing to him. I just can't see at a high level. Again, he's straight in and out too. This is going to be a fun offensive fight. I see him getting stopped most likely. Throws a lot of wide shots that I don't love. It's a plotting, come forward guy. He's big and strong. He's a little bit of a... You know, he's got a little bit of skills. He, he, he tries to set things up. You know, he, he tries to sit back and box. It's, it's not it's not going to work at the highest level. It's not going to work with Eric Virginian. But, you know, this, this, there is some talent to him. And he, he can do some things. He can score some shots on the inside. He can time you. He can counter you. Uh, but it's like, yeah, not a ton of power. He, he's not particularly fast. 
There's just not a ton of natural ability there. There's not a ton of skill. He's, he's okay. He's not a terrible fighter. He's an opponent. <coughs> I do see him most likely getting stopped. Let's take a look at the odds. I wish they had more props on this, but let's take a look at what we have. Eric Virginia is minus 800. This is a, a pretty short thing. Um, again, this is the hometown fighter. He's going to get the home cheer. He's going to get a close decision. I don't really see any way uh, Finn can get any type of decision off him. A, he can't win enough rounds, and B, it's not going to go his way if it's a close fight. So he's going to have to stop him. He's not a huge hitter. This is a, an easy fight for me. You know, the odds aren't great. Minus 800. It's indicative of what kind of fight it is. It's, it's a pretty good prospect, a pretty good high-level prospect against an opponent. Uh, so minus 800, one times bet is going to make us not a ton of money. It makes 1875. Uh, this is a fight you might want to parlay. You know, it, it'll help bring down the odds. It's 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 sure thing as there is. Um, but Brazilian is, is, is another level. Finn is an opponent, and this is just kind of a stay busy fight for Brazilian, who is on his way. You know. To, through the organizations, and eventually within a year or two, I would imagine he's going to fight for a world title. Whether or not he wins that, who knows? But that's where we are now. So let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the uh, follow three boxing on all forms of social media. Join the Patreon. The link is in the description. It's also in the banner below. Uh, it, that's just five dollars a month. You get all the perks. You get the lock of the week. It doesn't cost you money. We make money on this thing. We make money on this lock. All the time, or every week, we're making money on the lock. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Box and Bookie. It is April 23rd, uh, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3 Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.